tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a grid of gradients, square gradients. Now, what I'm going to do, first thing to do, just go over to View and New Guide Layout. Just Now, I'm just going to go by 4x4, four by four, but you could go 6x10, 20 by 20, whatever you want to actually create. But I'm just going to go 4x4 four four because it's a bit quicker to do that. So obviously I have just 16 different squares to fill. Click OK. Now, next thing to do, View and Snap. Make certain that's on. And Snap to Guides. That's the only one you want on. None of the others. Just Guides and the Snap there. Right. Now, just go over to Rectangle Marquee Tool and just create a selection there so it just snaps to straight away like that. now just go to the gradient tool i've got a gradient here always selected so i'm just gonna there's the actual gradient setup but of course you could use any other gradient not just these ones these are just a whole selection of different gradients so i'm just going to go there linear gradient and i'm just going to apply random directions so i've just got that gradient there just go back to the rectangle marquee tool and then just drag it over. You see it clicks straight away or snaps into the that square. So now what you can do, just quickly again add another one, different angles. So you quickly quickly do this. So obviously any number of possible variant arrangements could be created very quickly. And of course, go back and do this anytime. So One there, okay. Next one, just quickly. Whoops, snap to again. Sometimes it doesn't want to snap to, and now back to the gradient tool. I'll go the other direction. So you just basically want to make it different from the one that's close to. Drag that over there. Right. A couple more to go. Now, once you've actually done that, and I'm just gonna, there's a number obviously things you could do, variants you could do. You can actually apply adjustment layers or effects maybe, or maybe just modify the ones that are in the center. There's numerous sort of options you can do. So again, another couple. And of course, you could use different color gradients. You don't have to use just black and white. You could actually vary them to maybe make uh, blues, greens, all that sort of thing. So I drag that over there again. And great sort of interesting sort of art deco style effects as well. Nearly one more row to go. And now nearly finished there. And again, of course, you could use maybe a different uh, gradient mode as well. Right, that's that. Now, let's say it's sort of an Art Deco effect, sort of unusual, sort of jagged sort of lines like that. Now, next thing you want to do, of course, define it as a pattern. You could actually also, of course, use a brush preset. It makes quite a nice brush preset as well. So click OK there. Also, edit define pattern. Click OK. And then you can go to layer new fill layer, pattern, click OK, and then modify pattern, or maybe 25, and so on. You've got a nice sort of jagged, sort of unusual design. And of course, once you've actually done that, you can actually flatten that, or maybe combine multiple different patterns, maybe different sizes of pattern. And then, if you wish, you can just go to image, or maybe layer, New adjustment layer, hue saturation, click OK, colorize, and then you've got a nice colorful design as well. Right, 